Time now for our weekly stop by Lisa Barrow's office for all the latest motor news. It's no secret that big luxury car sales are down, with many buyers defecting to sport utility vehicles. But Buick knows that nothing peps up business like a new model. Enter the 1997 Buick Park Avenue. While not on sale until next fall, the Park Avenue is being introduced at Detroit's North American International Auto Show. The first redesign of the Park Avenue since the 91 model year, the still conservative styling hides the fact that this is an all-new car. The Park Avenue will now be built on the same G-body platform as Oldsmobile's impressive Aurora. We recently had a chance to drive several Park Avenue prototypes and came away delighted with its broad shoulder look, very quiet ride, secure overall feel, and in general, a level of refinement one notch up from Aurora. But unlike Aurora, there is no V8 under the faster sloping hood. Park Avenue stays with Buick's signature V6 powertrains. The top-of-the-line, supercharged, 240-horsepower Park Avenue Ultra is a powerful full-size sedan, one that should stop any moaning about the passing of the Roadmaster. That probably was a goal of the interior designers, too, since the Park Avenue's wide, flat seats and tall, expansive dash layout will appeal to mature big car fans. Buick's other big front-wheel drive sedan, the LeSabre, gets a much milder rework for 1997, but you can buy it this month. No new chassis, but there is a trimmer front fascia with the grille now part of the hood and a reworked rear deck lid that covers an easier-to-load trunk. The LeSabre is the best-selling full-size car in the land, and Buick wanted to keep it affordable, so any major investment for redesign is still a couple of years away. We'll bring you a full road test of the 97 LeSabre soon. And that's it for this week's Motor News.